Moggy's kind of interesting, huh? He's weird, but he makes everyone around him really happy. You'll see. grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions.
won't stop telling us stories about that damn reactor. Huh? Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. You all right? You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a Leaf House thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? <sighs> you see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? <sighs> that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. One boy patrols near some concrete pipes. One girl likes to do her patrols in public areas with lots of people. One boy spends most of his time checking out the shops. One girl loves to be fussed over by folks at the community center. One boy likes to stand guard at the town gate. And don't forget, they all wear homemade swords on their backs. Thanks again for agreeing to help you guys. Biggs gave me a bunch of his favorites. right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! I know. You're talking about Walmart, aren't you? Now listen to me. You stay away from there, alright? <laughs> oh, Cloud? Hey there, how goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But, don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! This place is haunted. Hey there, how goes the patrol? Great, I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! You heard what they said on TV? Avalanche. My lights have been on the. Can you spare machine parts? Sell them here. Hello, Cloud. Sir! It's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, 
Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Hey! Any marks around? The Sector 5 slums are right there. So, do you think Somebody help me! Is coming? Uh -huh. <sighs> Just I'm glad I moved here, but I'm telling you, something has to be done! One night in Walmart, get a nice girl. Still aren't running, I take it? This place takes getting used to. <sighs> I've been out here all night watching the fire. Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. So, do you think this I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. Sure hope not. Oh, hey there, Aaron. How exactly do you know, Aaron? You mind taking a look? I made a first roll of time. You won't stop telling us stories about that damn reactor. <sighs> Got any spare machine parts hidden around when they said this place was the very first time I died. So, do you think this means another one? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Just wanna go to bed. I'm glad I moved here, but. Guess I'm not working today either. Think you can help me out? Hey, you're a soldier, right? It sure was so market making thing. We're patrolling for monsters. Eh? Huh. Fancy meeting you. Ran out of work over in sickness. That's in the diet, the sick cat. Get your slum meatballs right here. Sweet and spicy levels, up to you! Eh? Is it weird that I prefer this part of town? Avalanche must have used some no heavy telling what We get the occasional monster, monster here. But seeing as Maybe I'll go check to, to see if it's still... Just one night in Walmart. Still aren't running, I think. This place takes getting used to it. Huh? I sure hope not. Did, did I just hey, hey! No. You mind too? Just got in a big old hey. ship in a fabric sumter! That's what's called easy money. Hi there, you little doggy. Come on! I really like Miss Foley. One boy spends most of his time checking out the shops. And don't forget. They all wear homemade swords on their backs. Thanks again for agreeing to help you guys. Wanna join the wine? <laughs> Guys are unbelievable. You heard what they said. Want to help me out too? What 
the same. Where are you going? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. <sighs> the children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain! I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job, but there's really no one else we could have asked. You're our only hope. I'm very sorry, Miss Folia. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. I want to become strong just like you. Nothing to it. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Here we go. That's it! That wasn't so bad. You're dead. See ya. Let's go.
Get back. It's over. That's that. Was never in doubt. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well... Then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've got...
completely lost track of time. Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout.